Hi there guys and welcome to another reading with Kate. So, um, today our little reading is going to be all about August 22. Um, what's coming for you in August 22? What's happening in August 22? So first, we have um, also, August 22 is Leo season. Pop, pop. I'm Leo, so I get really excited around Leo season. But regardless, <laughs> okay. So first, we have, um, I used these really awesome shells that I found to help you guys choose. And I'm also using the She-Wolf Tarot, which is one of my favorite tarot. It's like my big sister tarot deck. It just makes me feel powerful. So we're using that to push into this powerful Leo energy um, and manifest some good stuff. See what's going on. Um, so first and foremost, we have this shell. I'm not gonna say what that is, but it's swirly. It has some really pretty um, swirlies on it. So maybe you like that one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's pile one. Pile two is this little tiny piece of coral. It's got a little hole and a hoop. Cutie. Pile three is this really gigantic piece of coral. really pretty shell. And pile four is this cutie little shell here with some quartz inside. It's like sparkly on the inside. I don't know if you can tell, but it's really pretty. Okay. So with that said, those are our four piles. Take a moment, meditate on it, pause the video, and then go to the description box to choose. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. I'm so excited to work with you if you love these readings. Um, all right, let's hop to it. See you guys soon. Hello there, pile one, and welcome to your reading. So today we are talking about August 22 predictions. It is Leo season, if you have not watched the intro. Um, and I love Leo season, I'm a Leo, so it makes me really hype, it makes me really excited, but along with the Leo season comes a lot of, you know, sexy, strong, confident energy. So with that said, let's hop into this August 22 predictions and see what's going on with you guys. Um, the way we're going to do this is we're just going to see what the tarot says, what's coming, and we'll do some oracle after to figure out what we can do about it, or how to fortify it, or how to add more energy to it, pump it up, whatever. So you guys pick this pretty little shell here. Um, I don't remember where I got these shells per se, but I feel like some of them are from the Philippines that um, my fiance brought for me. So they've got really cool, um, really powerful energy. So actually, let's put them up here this time. I feel like he's meant to be over here. It looks nice and balanced. Okay, so let's see what the tarot had for you guys. Um, ooh, we've got Moon. We've got the Two of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Cups. Wow. And we've got the Hierophant. Oh, okay. This made me excited. Okay, file one. Coming out strong. Coming out the gate strong. Okay, so... What I'm feeling for you guys is that you have been doing a lot of deciding. You've been doing a lot of choice making. You've been choosing, you know, kind of the way to your life path or your life journey, your life purpose. You've been very driven toward figuring that out. And it's time for you to see some of those choices that you've made toward manifestation come to reality. So if you've been, if you haven't been seeing like the things come into your, you know, into fruition for you, August is going to be the month where you start to see some of those things start to come. And with this Ace of Cups, I'm seeing like your wish fulfillment, like the things that you've been manifesting, like you've been putting things into the pot, you've been boiling and cultivating and making, you know, I just see this big pot of soup and you guys have been putting little things in here and there and kind of like making this big jambalaya, okay? And within this big jambalaya, you've, it's taken a lot of work. Like jambalaya, you know, like real good gumbo and jambalaya, like that kind of food takes a lot of work to get the spices right, to get the flavors right, to get it to taste how it's supposed to taste, right? And you guys have really been putting in the work and the effort to get that done. And now you're going to start seeing some of these things that you've been manifesting and working on coming to fruition. And it's like, 
you guys have been, you know, a lot of this stuff <laughs> has been happening in your head. Like you have seen what you're supposed to do. You've seen what your purpose is. You've seen way far ahead of everyone else that things are, you know, you know what's coming to you, but you also kind of doubt it because it hasn't showed up in the 3D. Well, let me tell you something. This is the, this is the month that things should be showing up in your 3D reality. Now, the trick with this is, is that as you begin to see things showing up in your 3D reality, you have to have some kind of gratitude for them, okay? You have to acknowledge that you have grown and are starting to see this flip in manifestation pro uh, process, right? Because sometimes often what happens is when we begin to manifest or we start seeing the manifestations come in and they're not like big gigantic versions of what we thought, if they're not the exact thing that we thought and they don't come in exactly as we imagined them, we start to kind of like do this thing where we go, oh, well, that happened. Oh, okay, that happened. And we don't kind of give ourselves like the credit or the joy that that manifestation deserves because it took a lot of work to get that stuff. It took a lot of work for you guys to, like I said, you had this big pot, you had to get all the flavors right and you're finally starting to see and taste what it feels like and you know, you don't wanna jack that up without, you know, with lack of gratitude. So make sure as these little things start coming in, you actually start paying attention and really, really diving into the gratitude behind these things and really assessing and seeing that they're like many versions of what you want. Cause you know, we often just get wrapped up in our own minds and what, we get wrapped up in our own minds and what we wanna see. But the universe often has other plans for us. The universe has other ways of showing us these things and it may not be exactly what we thought of, but it ends up being the right thing in the end. I have to sneeze. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Okay. I feel like that was like confirmation. <laughs> that was like confirmation to stop and smell the roses. Okay. Like that's what came into my mind is to stop and smell the roses. I also have this feeling that, yeah, like the illusion, like you guys have felt very like, very much like you've been kind of passed over or like all these things that have been in your head are kind of fake, you know? Or like maybe you're a little crazy or maybe all the stuff that you've seen in your head isn't supposed to come true because you haven't seen it yet in your immediate reality. But you're gonna start seeing it. You guys have worked really hard and Source and your spirit guides they're pumped up because they're like, look, it's time for you to see this stuff. It's time for, in August, you're gonna see some of this like really um, beginning to come out for yourself, which is hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. You know, cause that, you know, sometimes you need that affirmation. Sometimes you need to see a little bit of it to keep believing it. And that's just because we're humans and it's okay to need that. And remember, you can always ask for confirmation from the universe. You can always ask for confirmation from the source, your guides, whomever, you know? They, they'll send you little signs like, you know, through animals, plants, um, the weather, anything, you know, different symbols like numbers, all that stuff. Like little synchronicities can help you to remind you that you're on the right path even when you don't see it right away, okay? All right, let's do a little bit of oracle. Um, let's see, what do I want to start with? Let's, let's start with the gateway of light. Um, I'm excited for you, Pile One. You guys are very, you know, it's a very, it takes a very special person to remain um, in this kind of power for this long because you guys have been quite patient and your spirit guides are applauding you for your patience. They're applauding you for your trust because it has not been easy to trust. Trusting in a human form is not easy and it often requires a lot of stealing of the mind. Um, and that can be very intimidating. You know, when you start. Star being healing codes, important information, wounds are healed, recharging, hello, I love it, I love to see it. Then we've got 
the divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, God in sentences. Oh snap. Oh snap. And we've got Shambhala initiations, retreating to recharge, trust in the process, Dharma. Yeah. So immediately, like this is just a little confirmation on top of what I've been saying is that start being healing codes. Like you, this information that is you know you've been downloaded before like this information this godly this divine information that you received early on these dreams and i feel like some of you guys have had these dreams since you were like a child a young teenager um but it's telling you that you know up until this point you have been preparing up until this point you have been put through trials and kind of like things that your soul needed to grow in order for you to reach this point to where you are ready to receive the manifestation because a lot of times early you know in our lives like we want things right now but if we're not prepared if we're not ready we won't receive the manifestation that we desire we just won't we're not gonna get it so we have to be prepared by source by god by the universe in order to get us to the point where we are ready to take on that manifestation we don't again not be grateful for what's coming through do you know what i'm saying then we've got the divine matrix, interconnectedness, synchronicity, God incidences. Like, pay attention. Those God incidences, those synchronicities, those things that are going to be coming through to show you that your stuff is falling into place. It may be slow at first. Like, that's what they're telling me is it may be kind of slow at first. It may be like chink, 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 chink. But then it's just going to start flooding in. I see like coins like coming into a, a, a jar. Like they're just clinking in there like one at a time and then all of a sudden it starts speeding in and there's all this change coming down. There's all this like, you know, maybe that's, a, you know, abundance coming to you. Maybe it's abundant and abundance comes in many different forms, not necessarily monetarily, but with the two of pentacles, I feel like possibly, you know, that could be a part of it. Um, and yeah, so like pay attention to those synchronicities, pay attention to how all those things like even though they're small, they kind of interconnect, like how they connect to each other. And I feel like you guys have, <clears throat> my throat is getting a little itchy, but I feel like some of you guys have possibly had some, like a hard time with um, speaking your truth, you know, saying how you feel about what, you know, you dream or sticking to your dream because, you know, you felt like you couldn't, that you couldn't, be your authentic self. You couldn't be who you wanted to be because it was just a little too scary. And like, maybe there were some people around you that judged you or dimmed your light. And so now you feel like you have the power. You've done the work internally and you feel like you have the power. And so you're gonna receive what it takes, you know, to help fulfill your dreams. You're gonna help, you're gonna start receiving it. And your throat chakra, I feel like, you know, as you guys practice, because I feel like you're still in the practice of sticking up for yourself and talking about your dreams and vouching for yourself and being your own biggest cheerleader, your own biggest advocate. I feel like you guys are starting to really, really connect your throat chakra and your third eye chakra, your third eye chakra, which is like your throat chakra is your truth and your third eye chakra is, you know, your foresight your dreams, what you saw, you know, you really can start talking about it. And don't worry as you begin to start talking about it, as we, you know, again, as you begin to start talking about it, don't doubt the small things. Talk it up, you know, the source is saying to talk it up, to kind of like be okay with acting as if you know, acting in the moment. So putting yourself in, you know, say, you know, you want, a, this is a silly one, but say you want a new Lamborghini, okay? And usually this is something that we don't need to really manifest for. This can just fall into our laps. But say you want a new Lamborghini, right? And we don't have one right now, but that's something that we, well, well that's something I want. So maybe you act as if, and you go to the lot and you walk around where those Lamborghinis are and you pretend in your mind or you even talk it out loud. Who cares that you're gonna buy one? Maybe you talk to the clerk and you're like, so tell me about this one, you know? And you kind of make conversation with the car salesman, you know? Like that's just stuff that you can do, you know? Go to the mall, 
you know, and it's just about buying things. Like there's a lot, this is just a very simple and, you know, but it's a very way, a easy way for us to like relate and understand is, you know, you go to the mall to a very expensive store that you've never bought anything from, but you've always wanted to go in there without shame, without shame. Because if you go in there with shame and you're already feeling lesser than and not worthy of being in that store, you're not acting as if, but if you go in there, in a really nice cool you know you go in there with your your purse and your stuff and you're like how much does this cost and you're looking at this stuff and you're like oh man this is so beautiful i i love this you know and then you cha-ching that that bag or those clothes to ching it in your mind swipe the card in your mind you don't have to swipe you don't have to swipe it physically but just swipe it in your mind practice this is like little ways to practice putting those acting as if skills into action okay because acting as if is a really fun way to bring things that you want into your life you're you know you do art you're a painter you want to paint get some canvases get some canvases and paint as if these were going to be the the paintings that were going to be in your personal art exhibit for you, people are coming to see you. Put them up around your house, walk around, and pretend to talk to people about each piece after you've painted them. These are little ways and little fun things that people don't really do enough because they feel ashamed or they feel like, oh, this is silly or this is dumb. But like, it's so important to do this. Like, I'm gonna use myself as an example, it's the last one, I promise, but like, I'm an actor. I love to do that kind of stuff and so, you know, one day I dream of maybe walking a red carpet, you know, and not maybe of walking a red carpet. See, I had to catch myself there. And so what I'll do is I will talk to myself around the house as if I'm being interviewed out loud, maybe in my car, maybe at a store. I'll do it. I'll talk. I'll talk it up. I'll, I'll go through the whole motion. So this is just ways for you to think about playing the as if. Um, don't forget to rest during this time because it's going to be a lot of things coming in. So make sure you come back to, you know, however you create spiritually to yourself. So whether that's prayer, meditation, you know, going to church, whatever it is, like retreating to recharge, trusting in the process. So allow yourself to ret retreat and know that it's done after you've seen a little bit. Oh, cool. Awesome. And then back off. That's it. That's it. You guys are on the path to awesomeness. You're great. You're in a great space. Um, okay, let's do maybe a little more Oracle. What else is coming out for them? What specifically? Can we get some things that are specifically coming to them? Let's see. What specifically is coming to you guys in August? Other than the, you know, within these cool manifestations, what is, what is coming to you guys? Okay, to be fair. What else is coming to you guys? Ooh. All right. We've got loyal heart and to be fair. Okay. So, um, I don't usually pay attention to numbers. It's not something I usually draw in on, but for some reason the numbers 38 and 35 are being drawn to me. So maybe, maybe, 38 and 35, that's how old you guys are. Maybe you have three and five, which is eight. Maybe that's a significant number. I mean, it is the, the month of August, which is eight. We have an eight here. We have a three here. Eight, one, two, eight, nine, 10, 11. Um, that's one, one, eight and eight, 11. So maybe the numbers eight and 11 are important to you. Maybe it's, um, you know, that's your birthday. Maybe your birthday's on the 11th. Um, if you are birthday twins, holla. Um, but yeah, like I think things are coming into balance. I think things are coming into balance for you. You're starting to see these manifestations and they're coming in a little slowly, but things are coming into balance for you. You're seeing what, you know, it's, it's weird to say that you're seeing what you felt like you were owed a long time ago, but this time you don't feel like you're owed it. You're just ready to receive it and expect it you know you're not feeling like oh I, if i need that like i'm supposed to have that you're not feeling that feeling anymore you're feeling more along the lines of like yeah that's 
that's mine. That's supposed to be for me. Like it's like you all you knew it all along kind of. Um, and I see here like, you know, you're really connecting in your relationships. I see new, you know, new versions of old relationships. Um, and I don't know how that's going to come because it's a very general reading. So this could go to anyone, you know, it could be. But like, I feel like new versions of old relationships, like rekindling of old relationships. And that could be a love relationship. It could be a relationship that you already have. It could be, you know, a friendship. It could be a relationship with a parent or a loved one. It's just you are strengthening the bond with the people that really mean something to you. And they are going to be along the ride for this awesome opening of this manifestation, right? Like they're, they're going to be there to see all of this stuff unfold. And that's so exciting because you need that support system. You know, as you go through transformation and like all this stuff, and maybe you guys have been through like major transformation already, but as you go through transformation, like you need people, you need the love of others to help you build and transform and just make this stuff into what it's supposed to be and how it's supposed to be in the most loving, non-resistant, easy way. Um, but yeah, that's what I see. You guys are really rocking right now. Like you're in a really good space. August is going to be a really, really powerful month for you. I feel like you guys, like, again, like you're really in your Hierophant energy. Like you really are... And maybe some of you guys are spiritual teachers or, you know, do something in the spirituality realm. Like maybe you are spiritual healers, Reiki masters. Um, I don't know. That's just another possibility. But whatever it is, whoever you are, you are in your Hierophant energy, which is like you are you are mastering yourself. You're in this mastering of self energy is what I'm hearing. You've gotten over the illusions you know, you're getting past the illusions of what was in front of you in your 3D reality and you're beginning to understand that there is way more beyond the 3D. There's more, <clears throat> there's more beyond the 3D. There's more for you beyond the 3D. And my, my throat chakra is still acting up, which means that you guys are still learning that, but that's okay. It's okay to still be learning that. It's okay to take things slow. It's okay to be doing things like a little at a time. It's okay to like unstuff your nose. <laughs> I know that's like a silly way to think of it, but it's okay. You don't have to be, you know, completely rid of the stuffy nose, you know, right away. I don't know why a stuffy nose came into my mind, but it just, you know, having a clog or, you know, something like that. So fantastic guys, this is looking good. Okay, let's finish off this reading. This is really a long one, um, but let's finish it off with, oh, our last card which is Gentle Gardener, our last two cards. We have Gentle Gardener and we have Movement. And this is just another solidification, really, honestly, that you're moving in the right direction. Things are going forward. Things are, things are going, they're moving. We have another eight um, and we have a two. Um, and I, you know, two is the sign of having faith. You know, two to me is having faith and remaining balanced. And, you know, you've got these people here supporting you. You've got your source watching over you, but you're a gentle gardener. You're gentle, you, you planted the seeds and now they're growing and you're finally seeing some results, which is really cool. So I'm so proud of you, Pile One. Um, your spirit guides and source were cheering you on, like really freaking cool guys. I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end the reading here. I love you so much, take care. Hey there, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. So today we're doing August 22 predictions. It's Leo season. I'm pumped. Um, there's a lot of really strong, powerful, confident energy that comes into Leo season. Really excited about it. Um, so you guys chose this little piece of coral. It's so precious. <clears throat> it's so precious. It's so beautiful. Ugh, it's just got this cute little circles in it. Like, it is so cute. Precious. Um... Okay, let's see what the tarot has in store for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some tarot first, or we already picked the tarot for you guys, and then we'll do some oracle after to like help fortify, enhance, just get more details, okay? All right, let's do it. 
We've got the Page of Swords in reverse. We've got the Page of Cups. We've got the Eight of Swords in reverse. And we've got the Knight of Wands. Okay. <laughs> mm. I'm hearing a song <clears throat> in my head. Get ready, cause here I come. Get ready, cause here I come. I don't know what that song is. I think it's an old song, but it's in my head. Um, I feel like, <sighs> okay, pile two. You guys have really cut, you've been, you cut down to the nitty gritty. Like you cut down to the nitty gritty. I even see lions here, which means maybe some of you guys watching this are actually Leos or have Leo placements. Um, I'm getting Pisces energy as well, which is very strange because they're not the same, but I'm getting, you know, maybe a Pisces or Leo placements, um, even Gemini placements. Um, but you are done hiding. You are done hiding pile two. You do not want to hide anymore. You are sick and tired of people trying to put you on the back burner. And I feel like this could be in your immediate relationships that you've been receiving a lot of this kind of feeling. Um, and it's annoying you. It's annoying you and you have bubbled to the surface. Like that, it's like they just kept stoking the fire, poking the bear, and now you are raging. And by raging, I don't mean anger. I mean that you have stepped into your power. And I want to encourage you as you step into your power to remember that power doesn't always have to be loud. It doesn't always have to be raging, okay? Like right now you're in the, I'm a bad B, but it, you know, you're in your freaking Meg Thee Stallion mode. You're in Cardi B mode, okay? But you don't have to be in Cardi B or Meg Thee Stallion mode all the time. It's a great persona to portray because it is powerful. It's very strong. But you can also be, you know, a quiet version of that. You know, the power doesn't have to be always on the outside. It doesn't have to be with the music all the way turned up, okay? You can ride around with your windows rolled up and Cardi B blasting in your car on level seven, okay? <laughs> Instead of level 20 and still feel like a bad B. You know, step out of the car and walk into the doctor's office, okay? It's like, it's like that. It's like, it doesn't have to be always screaming on the outside. Like, we get it. We know what you look like. We know that you are stepping into your power. Stepping into your power, remember, it doesn't always have to be seen. And this is new for you guys because you, you know, you, you haven't always been in the power seat. I feel like you guys have always, you know, for the most majority of your life, you had a couple situations maybe possibly, but for the majority of your life, you kind of just people pleased or let things kind of go by you or just let shit happen to you. And that's hard, you know, like it's hard to be that person that people kind of walk all over, but you're over it. You're tired of it. You're not doing that no more. You're not going to be you're not gonna be that person that everybody pushes around. You know, you're you're changing the narrative, which is so freaking awesome. Cause we've got Knight, we've got Page, um, we got Page, and we've got the Eight of Swords. And you're just putting down, like, put down, like this is, Source is saying, just put down the daggers, okay? Put down the defensiveness, put down the sensitivity for a little bit and try to go internally. In August, you guys are gonna be enjoying this this power. You're going to be enjoying this feeling of divineness, this feeling of authenticity, this feeling of stepping into yourself. Just make sure it's like your own authentic feelings. Make sure it's actually how you feel. Find balance between the dark and the light. Okay. Um, balance those energies, you know, meditate, you know, make sure that you're not allowing power to become your main source of satisfaction okay because there's a lot of ways to be satisfied within quiet within peace more so than power 
okay? Because it feels good for a minute to be in this power position. You're like, oh shoot, I'm in the driver's seat. And you are, but you will be even more in control of the driver's seat if you can find peace. And I think August is gonna be revealing to you, <clears throat> it's gonna be revealing to you that you can have both. You can have both a balance of power and peace within yourself. And it's gonna feel so good to have a balance of both for you. Okay, let's do, let's do, let's do. I also feel like you guys are like very creative people. Um, you guys are the people that, you just, you just know how to make stuff go, but you've been doing it so far behind the scenes that you don't even realize how powerful you actually can be. And so when this new powerful energy starts coming in, you're gonna be like, oh snap, why didn't I just do that before? You know, but it's okay. It's okay that you're a little uh, late to the game on this because you weren't ready. You had to learn that, you know, you had to learn that, okay, I gotta step into my power. I gotta step into it, but I gotta step into it with peace. Okay, I gotta step into my power with peace. Power with peace is your mantra for August 22. Okay, we've got, let's do some oracle. Halls of a menti initiation, secrets revealed, treasures uncovered initiations. Holler, stepping into the power, baby. That's you, that's you. We've got, dang, Shambhala initiations. We got this in the last group, that's crazy. Retreating to recharge, trusting in the process, Dharma, pile one. Maybe you guys should go watch pile one too because maybe some of the things that were said in there will relate or resonate with you because they got, they also got this. Sacred inner space, sacral chakra, tenderness, sensuality, yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Oh, this is crazy because this card, when I was shuffling, before I even turned on the camera was what came out while I was shuffling for you guys. And I put it back in the deck and then it came back out. So this is, this one's definitely for you. All right, let's see what these say. Oh, that's bothering me that it's off center. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my Virgo rising is like, fix it. All right, here we go. <laughs> so we've got Halls of Amenti initiation, secrets revealed, treasures uncovered initiations. We've got Shambhala initiations, retreating to recharge, trust in the process, Dharma. We've got sacred inner space, sacral chakra, tenderness, sensuality, and then we've got Ar Ar Arcturian, Arcturian, light codes, evolutionary downloads, recalling power, future thinking. Holy, 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 holy. I love when this stuff happens. This is so exciting. Oh my God. You are recalling your power to yourself. Like that is just, if that's not confirmation, I told you it flew out of the deck and I was like, oh, put it back. And then now it came out again as I reshuffled for you. Amazing. Um, you guys have to just you go inside your mind. This is the time, August of 2022 is a time to go inside your mind and continue to discover how you can find peace and power because a balance between peace and power because you're gonna be receiving all these new emotions that come with like confidence and sexuality and just feeling so authentic and true and free and that is such a power those are all wonderful powerful things to feel just make sure you're connecting with your spiritual self at the same time like your higher self is blasting through right now like you have a beautiful higher self it's like almost like your essence i feel like you guys your essence is very like either one of the two like super grounding like when people see you they're like oh my gosh this person is so comfortable to be around which is why i think people were attracted to you in the first place but it also you know on the other end it could be very off-putting like you could be like almost otherworldly in your essence um and that just i i feel like that is a part of you like that's like trying to release itself and it's slowly beginning to come out which is so beautiful and you're going to be seeing more of that this august you're going to be seeing more of your development of self in august um your 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 kundalini energy is going to be erupting it's going to be coming out in full force you're going to be feeling like saying whatever you want to say you're not going to be feeling as shy as you normally feel because i felt in the beginning Maybe you guys were a little shy initially. You know, maybe you're shy people. Maybe you don't really speak your truth very often. Like you're a little nervous when it comes to like saying how you feel about things, but you are not gonna be nervous, my friend. You are gonna be saying how you feel about things like without inhibition. Just be careful that you're not 
saying it in order to hurt someone else you know in order to seek revenge or get back at somebody you want to just be, be saying how you feel in a nice sweet genuine way that expresses yourself but that doesn't put anybody down okay this is exciting you guys are really like you, you like initiated like I, I keep saying initiation initiation twice like you have initiated it's like you guys passed the tests you initiated into this new version this ultimate cool version you know the beginnings of an ultimate cool version of yourself like you that she has wings here like you are your wings have grown out of your back like we've begun you we've begun i'm gonna say we because that's what your spirit guides are saying we've begun to see you expand and flourish and take ownership of your divineness to own all sides of yourself you know like spiritually sexually you know mentally like you are connected you're so connected and i think i'm hearing the word gaia like maybe some of you guys are connected with mother earth like maybe you guys plant do plants or garden or something like that but like that has helped you it's been something <clears throat> maybe you guys have been walking in parks also you know like something that's been grounding you because it, it really connected you and that made you start to see like wow like even if you didn't notice it, it started you, you start to see like, wow, this is, I'm powerful. Like I'm, I'm me because in mother Gaia, like that is where divine feminine energy lies, you know? <clears throat> so that's where we find our Kundalini energy. And being a woman does not mean that that's not the only way to feel divine. We all have divine feminine energy. Okay. All of us, we all are connected to mother Gaia. So Think about that. That's, that's, wow. You guys are powerful. You're so powerful. I love seeing this for you. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Let's see. What, what else do they have? What else? How can we expand on these things? Anything specific that we need to know about for them? Like any specific events, anything cool like that? Let's see what we got here. We've got spark. Ooh, I immediately thought of new ideas. Some new creative ideas are coming to you guys. Maybe you're going to be writing. I feel like some of you guys write songs or you write poetry or something or you write something stories um, or even wanting to write something like you're going to start. You're going to start writing that. Um, oh, and I feel like we have to draw one more for you guys. Um, but we have ride the wave and then we have coming apart Ooh. okay so yeah you're you're leaving that old self behind you're leaving that old you behind um you're you're not allowing that old you to influence the new you like you're kind of turning that off it's like you've accepted it you understand it you're okay with it but you're kind of turning it off from now on because you know that that part of you, it served you at the time that it was there. It served you in like protecting you, you know, in a way and helping you learn and getting you to the new you that you are now. But now you're on the wave to success. Five, one, four, change. Like we have four, 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 four. Like that is like spiritual downloads. That is like you receiving information. That's you with your guides. You know, that's you communicating with source, um, with your angels, like whew, very cool. Um, but yeah, I feel like new ideas, maybe, yeah, I feel like you guys write music. Maybe you guys write some sort of, um, maybe you guys write some sort of like, again, poetry, books, like I, something, you guys are writing something, stories, um, Maybe you write screenplays, you know, maybe you need to go pitch those ideas. Maybe you're going to get the, 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 the want to pitch those ideas, to put those things out there, the things that you've been wanting to try. And if it's not writing something, it's definitely like getting new creative ideas to try things. Okay. Like you're, you're putting your love into your creativity right now in the month of August. And Leo is a very, you know, creative sign. So you are taking advantage of this creative Leo moon energy, this creative Leo month energy and you are putting it into your creativity and expanding and expounding upon all the things that you've been dreaming of and you're riding the wave into this new part of your life and this new power. This is so awesome. 
Moon, you are so deep in it, man. You have just stepped into something like extreme. Um, and I just keep hearing like, don't, don't, sh don't, sh I hate to say shit, but don't shit on the people like that hurt you. Okay, don't shit on the people that tried to dim your light. Don't, don't poop on them, okay? There's no need. <laughs> There's no need. They'll get theirs, you know? Karma is karma. So don't perpetuate negative karma, you know? Don't do that. Like, you, you've come so far, you know? And you've been such a positive light thus far. So continue to be that for everyone. Um, yeah. Wow. Okay, so this is... We're coming to the end of you guys reading, but this is beautiful. We've got higher power and we've got why. This is our last bit of the reading. And I am just like, holy crap, because you guys are so in line and alignment. I think you guys are very much in alignment. I see another four and another four here. Like 444 four, four is like you are in complete communication with your spirit guides. This is a fully downloaded message. Like this is, I don't know who this is going to, but it's someone very specific. I feel like a very specific niche group and I think that's what this why is is like why is it for them because you guys you guys have been seeking this information for a long time you've been seeking the the need to know this and have this affirmed for a long time because it's been something that's been on your heart. It's been something that's been in you, but you just haven't had the courage to step into. And now, why? Because you're stepping into it. You're stepping into it. You have decided. And like, again, for higher power, like you are connected with your higher power. You are coming into a very strong relationship with your higher self. And it's beautiful. It's, it's literally so electric and just mesmerizing. Um, to see because not a lot of people have the luxury honestly of being so propelled forward so quickly like you guys are going to be propelling forward into this you know not pe people don't get it so fast like you guys got this so fast you picked this up so quick because you realize you're like oh shoot like this isn't working for me Oop. Complete 180 gonna do something else and you stepped into your power and you just decided you just made the decision and now it's paying off and through August, you're going to see all of it pay off. You're going to see it just coming in like shoom, shoom, shoom. All the creative ideas, all the things that you feel like you've been missing out on, they're coming in. They're coming in for you, pile two. Coming in for you, pile two. Coming in for you, pile two. I'm hyped. I love this. I love it. I love it. I'm so excited for you, pile two. Keep stepping into that higher power. Stay humble. Stay beautiful. You're amazing. I love you. Take care. Hey there, pile three. Welcome to your reading. So... You guys chose this pretty coral piece. It's gorgeous, this pretty coral shell. It's just such a beautiful piece of nature art. I love these kinds of things. <clears throat> so we'll place them up there. So we are doing August 22 predictions. What is going on um, in August 22? What's happening with you guys? Let's figure it out. Um, we're gonna do some tarot first. You know, and like August is like powerful Leo confident energy. Um, so we want to really like embody that during this time. So let's see how that's going to play out for you guys. Okay. So we've got tarot first and we'll do some Oracle to help clarify and expand and make things even more beautiful than they already are. All right. Let's see what we got. We got Knight of Swords. We've got the Devil in Reverse. Divine Feminine in Reverse. We've got Ten of Swords. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Immediately, I feel like I need to give a pump me up reading because I feel like pile three. You guys, the self love train has been chugga 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 chugging down. Okay. You guys have been saying a lot of negative things about yourself. You've been feeling. And maybe it's not necessarily in this last month or so, but there's a lot of buildup of negative self worth, okay? Um, over time, like an, a lack of respect, honestly, for yourself. And it's been, you know, your spirit guides are saying it's been happening a little too much. 
and you kind of hit a, a wall here of making choice a choice is like are you going to continue to allow yourself to go downward and spiral out of control to a point where maybe it's going to be even harder to recover or harder to pull yourself out of um i also feel like you guys um, are a group that has a you know could have a lot of issues with lack and money um and you're placing too much of your focus on material things like you have just been talking about yourself way too much and way too harshly and not loving and accepting how divine you are like your solar plexus and sacral chakras are on a low you know they're they're on a low because you've kind of been just grasping at straws in hopes that one of them will be what you need to fix it which means you're reaching for external things to help fix the internal so now that you've hit this point august 22 is going to be about deciding to deciding to change how you feel about yourself deciding that and it's choices, right? You can continue to go down the path of not loving yourself and not liking yourself, but source is, you know, your spirit guides source is still going to continue to push this lesson on you. So August 22 is going to be all about learning how to love yourself. It's going to be all about learning, you know, even if it, you know, even if you choose to go down this path of more self-hate, and self dislike and lack source is not going to let you fall you have to remember that like we can choose over and over and over again to just crap on ourselves but the universe is going to continue to send us signs and send us people and things to help us correct that behavior even if this lifetime we never get it it's going to continue. The source never gives up on us. The universe never gives up on us. And even if you've given up on yourself, even if you've decided that you're not worthy, like the divine always believes you are worthy. It always believes you are beautiful. It always believes you are who they created you as. Even if the human experience has made it so that this time around we have to learn the lesson of self-love and we're using this human experience to your soul is using this human experience to understand that i feel like that's a big part of your journey pile pile three and i think looking beyond what's in front of you is something that is a hard practice a hard thing to put into practice but it's like, this is not real. Like the 3D is like a fun place for us to experiment and enjoy and like do human school. <clears throat> but it's, it's not the end all be all. We're gonna do other things in other lifetimes eventually at some point. And so why not, why not spend this one enjoying it? Why not enjoy from here on out, make the pact with yourself to enjoy life from here on out from today forward, even if it's just in little bits at a time. So <clears throat> let's dive a little bit more into this. Um, but I feel like self-love is gonna be playing a huge role in your August 22. It's gonna be playing a huge role for you because you guys, you need it. Um, you need it. Lemurian seed codes, embracing sensitivity uniqueness living with grace mm -hmm. halls of learning spirit guides confirmation great lessons thoth light codes light initiation great teacher awakening divine magic so i also want to remind you guys that like as i say this you know i'm not discounting all the stuff that you've been been through in the external 
okay? I'm, I'm, you know, your spirit guide source is not discounting that you have not been through a lot because you have. They're just saying that they're challenging you to move past it. They're challenging you to not let that be your story forever because it's not. You get to write your story however you please. Those things are external. Those things happened on the outside. But you can rewrite it whenever you choose. You can decide to rewrite it whenever you choose. Um, I think also a lot of, I'm hearing that a lot of you guys are also very like sensitive. And that makes you unique. So let your empathic self shine. You know, maybe some of you guys are empaths, you know, and it's been tough because people have kind of like told you to stop crying or told you to stop. You know, you're not worthy. You're not, you're, you're too sensitive. You're, you're doing too much. But use that, use that sensitivity as your gift because it is. Use it as your power. Use it as the thing that allows you to examine your emotions. Because a lot of people don't have access to their emotions like you do. They can't decipher those things. And we, you know, when as empathic people, we often decide like, oh, well, if they can't feel it, then I shouldn't be feeling it. Like I'm, I'm feeling too much. But like, in fact, it is a gift to be able to feel those things because you could actually decipher and change yourself in the moment. So when say you're feeling anger coming on, you can step out of yourself because you're an empathic person. You can step out of yourself and be like, is this my anger or is this someone else's? So, you know, I feel like this month of August is going to be about discovering that part of yourself and allowing, you know, Source is going to be giving you moments to realize that you have this power and you have this love of, you, you, you know, loving yourself is just as important. Because I feel like a lot of you guys really love other people really hard. You have a deep love for other people, but you have to begin to love yourself in order to actually love, love, love those people. Because they, you know... We can't decipher in those instances whether we're around people because we want to fulfill something within us or whether we just enjoy being around them as, you know, life partners, as soulmates. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, sorry, that got a little wordy, but I hope it translated in some way. Um, but yes, embrace your sensitivity and live with grace. Like, give yourself a little bit of grace. Stop being so hard on yourself, okay? Um, and maybe you guys need to look into Lemuria because maybe, you know, a lot of people who are in past are from Lemuria, Atlantis, you know, a lot of us come from that, you know, that's a past life of ours. So it's something to definitely, you know, look into star seeds, stuff like that, Pleiades, like look at those stories and, and see if you feel or relate to any of those things, you know, maybe you guys, and I feel like a lot of you guys like, really love the water like you love being around water you drink a lot of water you love going to the pool you love just swimming like so it's it's definitely something you love boating you love islands the ocean like that is something to to think about to, of looking into okay halls of learning yeah this is just reiterating you're going to be learning you're going to be discovering stuff about yourself in august you're going to be seeing things that you never saw about yourself before. Your spirit guides are gonna be guiding you because they're, they, they don't want you to talk crap about yourself anymore. So they're asking you to communicate with them. They're asking you to reach out to them. They're asking you to ask for help. Even if you ask for it right now in this very second as we're having this reading, ask for it, ask for a sign and just begin to ask, you know, ask for help. Actively ask for help. There are great lessons to be learned here. Confirmation. That's the, literally, this is the card to confirm this entire reading. Okay? 111 on the clock as I, as I say that. Um, and then we have Thoth Life Codes, Light Initiation, Great Teacher Awakening, Divine Magic. Yeah, like, you're discovering your magic in August 22. You're discovering, like, wow, I can't believe I was so crappy to myself. Even if it's coming in like little spurts of happiness, little spurts of joy, like you're gonna be finding that and you're gonna be seeing that and you're gonna be seeing the results of that and it's just gonna continue to grow and expand and get larger and larger and larger as you practice, 
as you dive deep into this understanding of your powers because I feel like you guys are some really powerful people in terms of like you know intuitively um empathically like you guys have a very great power here so it's something to definitely maybe you're clairvoyant clairaudient like it's something to take into consideration that those people are often dimmed in the beginning for them to expand and understand you know because they have all of this inside them and like in your human form sometimes you're just in the beginning not capable of taking on all of it at once so it kind of has to like mull around in there and like figure itself out through various situations and various people of how important it is that that exists within you okay <laughs> i hope this is this is a very deep reading but your august 22 is coming in like full force you know like you guys are really um sorry there was a bug on the camera there's a lot of like you're you're really receiving a lot of downloads <sighs> a lot of downloads <sighs> Okay, so get ready for those. Okay, what else? What else we got? What else is coming for them? Any details on any of this stuff? Like what it is they're going to be downloading or what they're going to be receiving from who, a person, a place, anything like that. Let's see what we got. We've got wizards of awareness holy holy look at that y'all look at that with a three attached to it we saw, oh, yeah we've got compass i feel like you guys are some like intuitive people i feel like you guys have maybe maybe you started an intuitive journey a long time ago or a spiritual journey a long time ago and you had so many crappy things happen to you that you doubt it now. Some of you. But I feel like regardless, you're a wizard, Harry, is what I hear in my head. You're a wizard, you're a wizard, Harry. And you're coming into your wizarding powers. You're understanding, you know, the deep depths of what a person like you is capable of. And it becomes, that becomes the source of self-love for you. This is a lot to happen in August, but it sounds so cool. Because what, uh, what better way to spend your time than discovering and having, you know, discovering what's within yourself and having some sort of sense of peace after you haven't, you know? Finding peace within yourself and loving yourself. Like those are such gigantic things that everyone needs but we always look externally to find and fill those things but now you're starting to see the importance you're starting to see you're you're being led guided you know toward where you need to go how you can discover this further this is so cool you guys are very cool you're very like i don't even want to say witchy but like it's awesome light workers, you know, witches, warlocks, <laughs> you know, like you guys are powerful, powerful people, wizards, you're wizard Harry. Okay, let's see what else. I also feel that you're going to start seeing some magic come back into your life. Some magic about the things that maybe you felt like weren't magical before, the things that you felt like weren't connecting you know like I feel like you guys just doubted you were put in a doubtful place so you doubted but that doubt was there <clears throat> to show you that you needed patience <clears throat> you needed patience you guys are kind of impatient but it's okay it's okay to be impatient because now you're going to be learning patience you're going to be learning self-love you're gonna be learning what it feels like to be in connection with yourself and it's not gonna feel like having patience it's gonna feel like time is just going as time does because time is relative okay you're not gonna be pay attention paying attention to the time anymore you're not gonna be putting yourself on timelines you're not gonna be comparing you're not gonna be <clears throat> doing any of that stuff because you're gonna understand that each 
moment, each passing, each minute that goes by is important. Each one that goes through in this lifetime, you're going to just be so aware of your present moment because you're going to be enjoying yourself. You're going to be liking what you discover. You're going to be in this total learning mode, which is really cool. Yeah, we got 21. Clean it up. You're dusting it off. You're cleaning up this old attitude. You're not allowing it to govern you anymore. You're moving away from it. You're cleaning up the dust. You're getting the dust and stuff off the old. It's like you're dusting off your old books. You're dusting off. The, I see someone in like an old library and they're just like dusting big chunks of dust off of old books. Like you guys had the knowledge. You had it in you all along. But you just stop paying attention to it. And maybe this this uh, stag here, you know, I think of the Patronus in Harry Potter. Like it's helping you, you know, your higher self you, that you discovered <clears throat> that you're getting in touch with again, because I feel like you know it's there. This higher self that you are getting in touch with again is is really helping you dust off the cobwebs. Dust off that stuff that gathered over time that you don't need anymore. We've got all that glitters. Yes, remember, all that glitters is not gold, okay? All that glitters is not gold. Everything that you see in social media or all that stuff that like, all that comparison that you were doing, all that lack of love for yourself that you were, you were giving, like, because of what you saw other people doing, feeling like you were like not successful, like not, you know, not having it together, like that you were behind, like, mm -mm, no more of that. All that glitters is not gold. They have their own stuff that they got to go through. Okay. They have their own stuff. They got their own crap. And maybe some of you guys are really young, like 21. Um, or maybe the numbers two and one are significant to you or one and six. I see one, one here. Um, it'll be a trip if this other card that I have in my hand has a one, but we've got three um, we've got six. We've got this one and six is seven. Like, I don't know if any of those numbers are significant for you. If you've been seeing those numbers repeating like one, 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 two, 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 uh, three, 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 six, 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 like seeing those numbers may be significant and you might want to look up the meanings of each in numerology because they have certain significance angel numbers angel numbers my friend and then last oh, look at that i said a one and there's another one 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 manifestation one 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 is good stuff's coming unfinished symphony you are rewriting your story <clears throat> you are rewriting your symphony you started it you got tripped up by the mess and now you're coming back to yourself. Okay? You're coming back to who you are. You're discovering you. You're in there. And it, you want to come out. You want to be seen. And you deserve to be loved. And cared for and cherished. And your, your spirit team, again, I just want to repeat what I said in the beginning. That they never thought that you weren't deserving or worthy. So they keep putting you in these situations to try and make you learn that. They will never give up on you, ever. Okay? I love you so much. You got this. August 22, step into that confident energy. Step into that Leo energy and use it to power you through this. You got this. This is big transformation time for you. I love you. Take care. What to do, pile four? Welcome to your reading. So you guys chose this little quartz rock shell. It looks like a shell to me, but it's actually a rock. And it's got the sparklies in it. See? So cute. Little sparklies inside. Um, let's put this over here to get started. So we're doing our August 20, uh, 2022 predictions. Okay, August 2022. What's going on in August? Um, we're going to do some tarot first. And then we're going to follow with some oracle to help clarify, expand, make things more, you know, pretty clear, more beautiful than they already are. Okay? Um, Leo season is very confident, very powerful, very transformative energy. Okay, so it's like it, it's time for you to step into your power. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. Step into your power. Step into your power. Yeah, that's for you guys. Step into your power pile four. I don't know if that resonates with you, but that's what came in my head. So we got seven of swords in reverse. We've got three of wands. I don't know why I said that like, oh. we've got the Eight of Pentacles and we've got the Will of Mars. 
in reverse. So the Will of Mars is a tower card. Um, but it's in reverse, so let's see. Mm. Throat chakra, throat chakra for you, pile four. You guys, mm, you guys don't speak up enough for yourself. You don't speak up enough for yourself, pile four. And August 22 is going to be, mm, it's going to be a little challenging in that area. Because there's going to be some people that are stepping to you. Okay, there's going to be some situations that are stepping to you that are gonna challenge you in that area, that throat chakra energy, okay? But along with challenges comes growth, comes expansion, comes transformation. Step into your power, that's what I keep hearing. And it's interesting because pile two was also very much about stepping into, into their power. But I feel like with you guys, it's about not just stepping into the energy, but like, because theirs was like, oh, you stepped into the energy. But you guys, you guys haven't quite stepped into it yet. You're just, you're finding it. You're discovering it. August 22 is about you discovering it. About you seeing where you need to cut things off. About seeing why certain things have led up to this point and how they've gotten this far, positively and negatively, and seeing how to sort through while still remaining in your authentic in your authenticity. You know what I'm saying? So like as you what I, what I mean by sorting through while remaining your authenticity is that you're gonna be pitted up against some situations or moments where People are going to be challenging you. They're going to be, I just keep saying people, but it could also be situations, you know, work-wise or whatever. I feel like this is a very like career focused group. And I feel like a lot of you guys have felt like you haven't had your say in your career space or where you work. Like you haven't been able to speak up for yourself and say what you want. And maybe that's even like speaking up for yourself at home, you know, like in your home I feel like you guys this month are going to be getting opportunities to speak up for yourself, to step into your power that way. You're going to be able to talk more openly to the people around you and this, through these situations to get your point across, to show them and show yourself that what you say matters. Because you guys, I don't think you're like not confident people. I don't get that feeling from you. I get that you just you hold your tongue. You hold your tongue a lot because you don't want to upset the bolt. You don't want to upset anyone. But the thing is, sometimes people need to be, the boat needs to be turned over for them to get it. Sometimes you literally need to capsize it. <laughs> you know, sometimes you need to just capsize the boat for them to get it. Okay? <clears throat> and it's gonna be annoying, I'm gonna tell you right now. It's gonna be so annoying to you to be hearing, you know, and it, maybe it already has been. Maybe it's already someone specifically that's been really irritating you. And now you're gonna be like calling them out on their shit, calling their bluffs, you know? You're gonna be speaking up for yourself because you believe in what you have to say. You know, you're sure of yourself now. I'm also getting the idea of reconnecting um, and making connections, old and new, that are gonna be really beneficial to this process and you moving forward in your life. There's gonna be some new, con some new connections, some new people coming in that you weren't thinking of necessarily, you know? And you're like, oh, I didn't think that person would be around or I didn't think they would be, you know, who they were to me, but it's gonna be some new valuable connections um, for you guys as well. You guys are very like the straight and narrow group. You guys are very much the type A's. You are very much the rule followers. And even if you guys like, 
don't think you are, like you probably are in, to some degree because you just are. You're, but you're not gonna be letting people take advantage of your time anymore. I feel like people have been also taking advantage of your time. They have been taking advantage of your time. They've been kind of stepping on you and you're over it. So you're gonna be saying stuff. You're gonna be telling them, like you're gonna be speaking up for yourself. You're gonna say, no, I don't want to deal with you in this way anymore. I don't want to allow you to manipulate me this way anymore just because I'm afraid that I might upset someone. Like sometimes people are gonna get upset. Not everybody's gonna like you. You're not everybody's cup of tea and that's okay. It's okay to not be everybody's cup of tea. It's okay to not always um, align with everyone. All right, let's see. What else, what else, what else, what else? What else we got? We've got, oh my gosh, seriously? Shambhala, this has come out three times. It's an initiation time for everybody. <laughs> I feel like everybody is going through some sort of initiation. Like you are somehow like just being asked to trust the process through these times. You're being asked to trust the process. Like holy moly cannoli. We've got Gaia, gateway activation, learning experiences, wisdom transmission, earth intelligence. And again, the blue circles. We've got blue here, we've got blue here, we've got blue here, we've got blue in the sky here, we've got blue over here and some purple. Like, you guys are in very much throat chakra energy. And then we've got another blue, another blue circle. Pleiadian activation, coming together, harmony in heavens, resolution, yeah. So if you've been having disagreements with someone or you've been having, because that, that can also be a threat tracker thing. It's like you've been having disagreements or you haven't been able to say what you want to say or their communication has been blocked between you and others. Um, this is a good time. August 22 is going to be a good time for sorting through that and it's going to come to resolution. Um, it's going to come to like a calm and it's not going to be so crappy anymore. Um, it You guys are going to come to some sort of agreement or understanding at least between you and them. And it's not going to feel so heavy as it as it is right now. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is definitely a, a. You guys need to speak up for yourself. You got like in August twenty two, like that is going to be your challenge. It's learning to speak up for yourself, learning to enjoy what it feels like to say what you want to say. Like you're going to get little like he, you know, after you do it, you're going to be like hey, I did it. You know, you're going to be clicking your heels because. It's necessary for your evolution. It's necessary for you to move to the next step. If you've been wanting to move up in a career, like say something about it. Tell them you want to raise. Tell them like, you know, vouch for yourself. Say why you deserve it because you do. You deserve it. Say why you need that thing to happen. Tell them what you need. Speak up for yourself. Say what you need. I keep hearing speak up for yourself, speak up for yourself, speak up for yourself. Tell them what you need. Tell the people around you what you need. If that's, you know, especially when these new relationships come in, like start off the relationships by saying exactly how you feel and what you need and what the boundaries are and how you know set boundaries like that's another thing with you group four is you guys don't set boundaries as often as you you need to because you guys allow people to kind of just come and go as they please and that's just not the move no more spirit is asking you to protect yourself to use your throat chakra to to set boundaries and protect yourself, protect your energy because your energy is valuable because you guys have a lot to give. And again, you guys are the type eight. So you guys are very much the rule followers and that's fine. But you also have to, you know, especially if it's someone of a higher status, I feel like I'm getting that too. Someone in your life that you view that's on like a pedestal or a higher status than you, like you have to speak up to them. You have to set boundaries with them. You have to put them where they need to go in your life because everybody is congruent with each other. It's not just like a one way street all the time. Like they can't just keep asking you to do stuff that's out of your means or putting you in a place that makes you feel uncomfortable and you not say anything about it. You gotta speak up, you gotta say something. You gotta tell them how you feel. Tell people how you feel, group A. Because sometimes, you know, when we're in that type A group, 
we hide our emotions. We hide how we feel about stuff because we're like, well, we just got to get stuff done. We just got to get through this. We just got to get it done for the sake of the, you know, the good of all because I know this is how it's supposed to be. You know, you like to have that inner control, but like really you're relinquishing your control by doing that. Okay, so say how you feel. Say how you feel. Okay, so now let's draw some oracle more oracle let's see what else um anything specific that they need they can look forward to in august 22 in terms of this any specific things any specific situations that we need to think about let's just check the oracle and see okay oh you guys got three this time okay all right all right all right all right all right so first we've got Dragon's Lair. I don't know why that sound came to my head. We've got Home. And we've got Come Together. Yeah, so you guys are going to be coming together with some really special relationships. Um, especially once you start speaking up for yourself. Especially once you start saying what you need to say. Like, maybe like saying what you need to say is going to really like show people like, wow, that person's like, they know how to handle themselves, you know, and it's going to attract those people to you. I'm not sure, but like something is going to activate within you that's going to be attracting uh, these good people to you, um, that they really value you. They value you as a person. They value what you say. They value how you feel, and they are respectful of that. And you're going to be getting these people coming in, and these are going to be lasting relationships. Um, it's going to feel really good. And also remember, like, your spirit guides are saying like, also by speaking up for yourself, like sometimes people just don't know, you know, they just don't know exactly, you know, what you want. They're not mind readers, you know? So sometimes you just have to tell them and then they go, oh, that's what you wanted this whole time. And then you just get it just by speaking up for yourself, you know? Cause sometimes we narrate these stories about like, that we kind of make up and blame, place the blame on others for not giving us what we want. And we just kind of assume and want them to give us something because, just because, but they don't know. So we have to tell them. You have to tell them, you have to speak up, you have to say, say what you feel, right? Um, home. It's just, I feel like just you coming home to yourself, like you coming home to the idea that and also, maybe this also is like people at your home, like people from your home are what, you know, maybe it's this is reiterating that it's this has to do with people from your home or a place that you spend a lot of time. But regardless, it's like also coming home to yourself, like coming home to understanding that within this home, this place that I reside in my human self like where I go to work where I am living who I'm living with like I have to make myself feel at home with them I have to make myself feel at home within myself by setting boundaries by protecting myself by speaking up for myself by saying how I feel so I can feel completely comfortable where I'm at because home is a place where you feel comfortable not where you feel uncomfortable so you have to make it comfortable for yourself okay you have to make this wherever you are your home Okay. And also remember that like you yourself is your home. Your body is your home. So maybe you guys will also, this is really random. Maybe you guys will also be starting to, as you go through this, like speaking up for yourself or saying what you like and don't like, you'll start to like do things that you like, you know, you'll start to like say something and then you'll be like, Oh, I've always wanted to do that. And then you just go put it into action because you said it, you know? So we've got Dragon's Lair. This is, this just reminds me of like, just be careful, like no raging, okay? As we expand our throat chakras, we don't wanna be expanding and overusing and abusing the throat chakra, okay? We want to take care of it, we need to nurture it, we need to exercise and use it, but we don't wanna overuse it, okay? We just wanna make sure that we're not lashing out at these people. We don't wanna lash out, we want to graciously allow them to either understand or not understand us and walk away from it regardless in a peaceful mindset, in a peaceful space. 
because it can be very tempting, you know, to kind of lash out when you start learning how to use your throat chakra <laughs> in the correct ways. Um, okay. Let's see, what's our last bit of Oracle? All right, we've got the fates. Aw, so precious. And then we've got flexible. Maybe the letter F is significant to you guys. Maybe your name has an F in it or it starts with an F. I don't know, that's random because I have the fates and the flexible and it just sounds catchy. Um, we also have a lot of sevens here, sevens and eights, I see nines um, which means like the end of a cycle so you know good luck it means like you're kind of going into alignment which is good so maybe this is like the last step of things that you need to really really get down in this half of your in this part of your transformation you know um but just remain open to receiving divine guidance as you discover this these parts of yourself remain flexible in your ideals and how you approach things because as you start to talk more and open up yourself like people are going to be talking back at you they're going to be saying their opinions as well and you have to be able to take that you can't just shoot it out and expect that no one's going to say nothing to you about this and like don't be afraid of that don't be afraid of like what most would consider confrontation when really it's just conversation okay it's okay for people to disagree with you you can still agree to disagree and still have lunch okay And then I just want, you know, this is like you, it's like if you notice like her wings are coming from her heart and like in the middle of her chest, like as you open your throat chakra, I think you guys are going to also be like getting in touch with, because there's a lot of green here as well, but you're going to also be getting in touch with your heart chakra because as you speak up for yourself, like you're going to re and set boundaries for yourself. Like that's a practice of self-love right there. You know, so those two chakras kind of, to me, often go hand in hand because you're just like understanding. You're understanding more deeply about like how you feel and and expressing it and getting to know yourself a little deeply and more how you feel. And I think August 22 is just going to be a big time of like really getting getting in touch with your inner self your emotions and like saying how you feel about stuff without any inhibition and without fear of rejection or judgment. And that's a tough challenge, you know, but I think it's like one of the, to me, I keep hearing it's like one of the last check marks on this, this transformational, this, this transformational part of your life, like this current transformation. It's one of the last steps of this iteration of you. So complete it, check it off the list. Practice it, try it, see what happens, you know, if you start saying things or, you know, it's just going to feel good. It's going to feel good to get that stuff off your chest and actually begin to like say things that you've always wanted to say. Okay. Um, Pile four, you're strong, you're beautiful. You guys are so confident already. Um, I'm getting serious, like weirdly, like Pisces energy or... Gemini energy, um, Sagittarius energy here, um, placements. So I hope that this Leo season helps fortify what you're already shining in, Aquarius as well. You know, get out there, do your thing. I love you. Take care.